In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable SSS access to your new Cisco routers and switches. Like uh, fresh out of the box in the Cisco router, when you're not able to access uh, you know, the router using the SSH, this is the configuration should be present in the router in order to access it uh, remotely via the SSH. So this is my new router, console. I'm in the console access. Cisco, I'm giving, I have configured the IP show IP interface brief, you can see show run interface GE1 this is the IP I configured and I also configured a default route show run pipe include IP route, you can see a default route I configured and I can ping my default gateway so now uh, I have the IP reachability, I'm going to try to SSH to this box and see whether the SSH is working. Before I try to SSH to my router, I want to make sure I can ping this uh, router IP from my laptop. The IP is 10.127.201.1.1 and uh, 10.127.201.1. So from my laptop, I can able to ping this IP. Now I'm trying to SSH this. So before we do the SSH, we need to configure the uh, username and password. I'm setting the username admin and then password Cisco. And also giving uh, service password encryption. Now I'm in my secure CRT. I'm trying to open the connection to 10.127.201.1.1. That is my uh, the new router IP and then username admin. I'm trying to connect. So if you see, I'm getting the authentication failed message, and it says authentication, uh, you know, with the SSH2 server failed. Even if you try to skip and give the password, still it won't work. So again, uh, you will get the same error. It will not get authenticated. So now in the new router, we have to configure the following commands in order to get the SSH access. First, uh, we have to enable the crypto key generate RSA because uh, the router uh, should have uh, RSA keys that it will use during the SSH process. So before we run this command, uh, we need to set the host name. I'm just giving router i for one. And then we will give the crypto key generate RSA key. Okay, see now it is asking the domain name. I'm just going to simply give it uh, a dummy domain name. So now let's see. So now it has taken. So basically, you need, uh, you know, it's a fresh router. So we need to configure the host name, and we have to give some domain name, whether it's a valid domain name or a dummy domain name, that uh, should be entered in the router. And then you have to give the crypto key generate RSA command. And uh, I'm going to give the uh, value to, sorry, one zero two four. Now you can see the key is generated. And also, so we also have to configure uh, this enable password, enable secret, giving the same Cisco, and then service password encryption. So now we'll go to line vty 0 space 4 then we give transport input ssh 
dot local so now just verify what are the things that we configured we have configured the uh, host name we have to configure and uh, we have to configure the domain name and then we have configured uh, the crypto command that is the crypto so that crypto uh, key generate RSA is kind of a, a command just to uh, generate the key it is not present in the configuration and then we enable the service portal encryption and enable secret and uh, under the line VTY uh, we have uh, configured uh, this transport input SSH so this is the command we given line VTY 04 login local and transport input SSH so now when you give show IP SSH you can see the SSH is enabled now we will try to uh, log in from our uh, secure CRT So now you can see it is uh, not giving us any error. It's directly asking for the password. So you can see it is logging in now. So now we are able to log into our router. And uh, here if I give show SSH, you can see the SSH connection has started. Show IP SSH. You can see the key is generated and uh, we are able to SSH to the router now. So that's the procedure uh, to enable the SSH access to your uh, new Cisco box.